rational expressions. When is it zero? Here we have three rational expressions. Um, rational expressions have um, their fractions, and they have uh, variables on the numerator or the denominator. But before we talk about rational expressions and how we find where, where it's zero, let's talk about fractions like half. How do we draw half? Well, that's easy. We got a triangle here. Uh, two tells us to cut it in half, two pieces. The one says we shade one piece. There we go. Or for example, two over three. Let's say you have something round and you cut it into three pieces because the denominator tells you you have three pieces and it says you shade two, All right? Or for example, if you have zero over four, what does that mean? Well, you have four pieces, but you don't shade any. What does that mean? Overall answer is zero. Well, that's the whole idea. That's the concept behind these rational expressions when are these zero. So we'll take the first one, and we want to know when is this expression zero. Not a problem. We look at the numerator. In this case, numerator is x plus 3. We set it to 0. We solve it. x equals negative 3. This is our answer. This tells us that when we plug it back into the expression, the expression will be 0. Let's test that. So my expression is x plus 3 over 5. And when I plug in negative 3 into the expression, I get 0 over 5. Same idea as this first picture that we drew here. So let's look at the next problem. x squared minus 16 over 8 minus x. Not a problem. When is this expression equal to 0? Well, we need to see the numerator, x squared minus 16. Set that to 0. And this is where a lot of people have problems doing rational expressions because they forget how to factor um, from previous algebra assignments. This one's called difference of squares. And difference of squares, you have two binomials. I'm going to set it to 0. And I know one is positive, one is negative. And if I, because I know this is a difference of squares type of problem, I take the square root on the left. That's going to give me x. Square root of 16, that's going to give me 4. And I have my two binomials. Then I have to set each factor to zero with the zero product rule. And then I solve for each x value, x equals negative four and four. And that's gonna give you x equals four. So these are my two answers. I take each of these answers, plug it in, you'll find out it's zero. Then the next case, will be x squared plus 5x plus 6 over 3x. When is that equal to 0? Right? Well, again, we take the numerator, x squared plus 5x plus 6. When is it 0? That's not going to be a problem. Again, if we remember how to factor trinomials, we get x here, x here. This is going to be a plus. That one's going to be a plus. 6 could be 3 times 2. We And again, this might be something that you don't understand, the factoring part. It'd be a good idea to look at the old videos and how to factor trinomials. Okay, then we take each binomial, set it to 0, subtract 3 on both sides, x equals negative 3, and subtract 2 on both sides, x equals negative 2. Here are my answers. You take those two, you take each one, right, and you plug it into the expression, and that's going to give you 0. So the whole purpose of rational expressions, well, uh, when is it 0? you got to take the expression, set it to 0, focus on the numerator 
set that equal to zero, solve it, and then check it to see if it, the expression does equal to zero.